Hi, you've reached the voicemail of Riley Darwin. Unfortunately, I'm not available to take your call. You've reached the voicemail of Riley Darwin. Unfortunately, I'm not available to take your call. Please leave a message at the sound of the tone. Hey, baby. It's me. I thought we were supposed to meet at the park at 2.30. Where are you? Don't tell me you forgot. Again. Don't tell me you forgot. You'll never Again. hear the words to this song. Oh, you live in silence. Thunder is the sound that lightning makes. Have you seen me in a while? Well, I'm here. You are here. I'm so happy you're here. I'm so glad you're here. Damn, it seemed like we never even lost any time. Lisa, you know I can't be away from you too long, so... His voice told me all of the things I thought I wanted to so hear. So when can I see you again? The low rumblings made me shiver. You shouldn't be seeing me now. <laughs> oh, God. His cautious touch sent a jolt of raw energy through my body. I want to kiss you. What makes you think I want to kiss you? What makes you think? Well, because you are here. That's why. Whatever. <laughs> I'm 
looking at you. You still scared, aren't you? Of you? Mm-hmm. Whatever. Mm-mm. Whatever. Mm-hmm. It reminded me of an old baby face song. I loved the acoustic guitar on that track. And as I sat there watching storm clouds slowly descend upon the park where we'd chosen to meet discreetly, that song played over and over in my mind. I wasn't doing anything wrong. We talked. I didn't touch him, not even when he placed his hand over mine and gave it a gentle squeeze. I didn't squeeze back, so I was pretty sure it couldn't be called holding hands. So much. Hmm? Panic was beginning to sink in, but I couldn't allow him to see the effect he was having on me. I should never have agreed to this. I'm leaving. No? Oh, he's it. He's it. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Let's see. I don't want you to know. You're not going anywhere. Not until I get my kiss. And you'll be stuck here for a very long time. Oh, well, huh? Well, I guess that really wouldn't be so bad now, would it? I knew that it was wrong. What had possessed me to agree to meet up with Tyree anyway? Words like neglect, disregard, and despair popped into my head. Loneliness, frustration, stupidity. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> you know what? You're all right. It is it's getting kind of late anyway.
was too late. You know, we gotta get back. You better go. Thanks for seeing me today. Thanks for dinner. Anytime. I'll talk to you, okay? One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi. The sun wasn't shining anymore. I could still feel the gentle pressure of his lips on my skin. Suddenly, my situation was very clear. I had just shared a moment in a park with someone who was definitely not the man I pledged my life to in a church full of friends and family eight years ago. I was just kissed by another man. And instead of feeling guilty, I felt rejuvenated. I'll hold you, hold you in my 